Hello everybody, welcome back to the Back Post Podcast. It's week three of lockdown. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick intro, just me, because this week we've got something special. We've got a football quiz. Uh, me and the lads love doing a football trivia quiz. We've done a couple on the channel already. We did the one uh, just at Christmas time. We did Me and Josh did one in the last season one. We absolutely love doing it. And uh, so we thought for this podcast, we're just going to do a football quiz. And it's between us three. But we've also laid it out, so if you wanted to play along at home, you can. So what we've done is we've got four rounds, and there's nine questions, and we had three questions each. Um, so if you want to play along at home, get a pen and paper, answer the questions as I'm speak, telling them out, and just let us know what your scores are. You probably do better than us, probably do better than me. <laughs> um, I'm not great at this stuff. Hopefully I do well. But yeah, hope you enjoy. We're going to move st- straight into round one now. We're going to start with the Premier League. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask uh, Josh three questions, Adam three questions, myself three questions. We're going to write them down. And then at the very end, I'm going to give all the answers out. So if you w- want to play at home, just write down the answer, the, your, your answers and see what happens at the end. So Josh, are you ready? Yeah, does everyone have a team name? Or just, just, yeah. oh, ooh, I do not have a team now, name. What's yours, I'm, I'm Josh? I'm going to go for my fantasy Premier League team name. One. Today, I will be Muffin Stuffing. I, I have two <laughs> team names that I could choose from. Go um, on. I can either go for the classic Earth, Wind and Dire, or my club is evil and falling apart at the seams. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Take a one. Take a one. Okay, cool. Um, the, just the really shit one I come off the top of my head was Diego Quista. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh. Drink that now. <laughs> okay. Uh, my team is falling apart and evil, or whatever it was. Are you ready? Tearing apart at the seams. Uh, Tearing apart at the seams. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. ready? Cool. I'm all good. Okay, so we're starting with the Premier League. It's covered up. Can't see the answers. Just want to reiterate that because Josh wants to call me a lot cheater sometimes. Mm-hmm. As of January 2019, which player has the most Premier League appearances of all time? So. I'll say it again. As of January 2019, which player has the most Premier League appearances of all time? I'll give you a little time on that. Is this this is me, right? This is my question. Yeah, this is you. This is you, Josh. This okay. is you. Okay, I've written my answer down. Okay. Question two. In one of the lowest attendances ever recorded, which stadium saw just 3,039 fans attend in a Premier League match in 1993? Um, <laughs> sorry, say, say again. In one of the lowest attendances ever recorded, which stadium saw just three thousand and thirty-nine fans attend a Premier League match in nineteen ninety-three? I think I could guess that one. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a tough question. Sorry, Josh. Okay, you ready for question three? So, yeah. from which? League One club did Eden Hazard join for thirty two million in twenty twelve? That's a good one. So it from which league owned club did Eden Hazard join from to Chelsea for thirty two million in twenty twelve? Cool, cool. Okay. Um so that's you done, Josh, for now. Well done, you made it. Adam, I'm gonna move on to you now. Are you ready? I am ready. Oh, I like that. Um, so question one for Adam who are the only two non-league sorry who are the two non-English players to reach the top 10 Premier League all-time goal scorers so I'll say it again who are the two the only two non-English players to reach the top 10 Premier League goal scorers of all time all time Ooh. all time so this two. this this is about this is 29 a 2019 quiz I'd say so don't I think this season, you don't think about it a season. And then moving on, question two for Adam. Who scored the infamous beach ball goal against Liverpool? Liverpool's Pepe Reina in 2009. Josh seems angry about that. <laughs> Josh knows that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so I'll say yeah. it again. Who scored the... Oh, you're up next. Fuck it. Let's go. Don't need to keep repeating myself. <laughs> um... <laughs> Which Chelsea player was the victim of Luis Suarez's infamous bite in 2013? Fucking uh, honourable. <laughs> you got that, Ad? 
Yep. Cool. So, all right, the last three of mine. So I'm going to read myself the questions, boys. How fun. <laughs> so, which is the only Premier League team to have been 4-0 up at half-time and not to win the game? So. I hate this so much. <laughs> so I don't I don't know it, I'm completely guessing. Um I'm just gonna put that okay. Ali Dia conned which manager into signing him in the nineteen ninety six after claiming to be related to the Ballon d'Or winner George Ware. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit, because I bet you don't know that, do you? <laughs> Probably I don't, mate. <laughs> And I still can't remember what fucking club... I still haven't written anything down for the Hazard one. I, I can't remember for the life of me. Oh, see, oh, see, I'd know that one. That'd be a good point for me. Oh, Obviously, right. I'd you know that one. You need to sign that your best ever, the best ever player you've ever had came from. <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting, that. Uh. Moving on. How many Premier League clubs are based in Greater London? Oh, so Greater London. Okay, that is the end of round one, boys. Um... Exciting shit. So, has everyone finalised their answers? I've not answered one of them because I don't know, and that's Fury H. Josh, which is fun. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I honestly nice. think I could have zero points in this first round, but it's not my um, But my, I got, 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 got it. Okay, so, Josh. Right. Your first question was, as of January 2019, which player has the most Premier League all-time appearances? Excuse me. Pardon me. Right, the answer was Gareth Barry. You got that the legend. answer. Otherwise, I could just cheat. Because I wrote very Gareth true. Barry, and now it looks a bit like um. <laughs> no, very true, very true. Okay, sorry, I fucked up there. <laughs> I got a bit too okay. gassed. I'm sorry. Yeah. I believe you, Josh. I believe you. Okay. okay. <laughs> sorry, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, question two. In one of the most lowest attendance <laughs> ever recorded, which stadium just saw 3,000 fans attend a Premier League match? What did you say, I have Josh? absolutely no idea. So I took a little bit of a... Main road. Can I Can I take a guess? Yeah. Of course you can. Is it? Oldham's ground. It is not. It is Sellyhurst Park, boys. Sellyhurst Park, my favourite ground. Sellyhurst. So, so Hurst, sorry. <laughs> Silly Hurst. Okay, so that's one out of two. Let's see if I can clinch it back. We have no knowledge of Eden Hazard's past. <laughs> how how could you not? Uh, okay, so what club did Eden Hazard sign from when he signed to Chelsea? I honestly couldn't even think of any clubs, and I've, so I've written Marseille. It was... Da, 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 Lille. Lille. Oh, okay. Lille. Okay. <laughs> so okay. how many did you get? Just the one? Just one out of three. How's so this right. next one go? Because I've got two answers on my first question. Ooh. You gotta get both to have a point. I mean, Otherwise, he, he can have yeah, a point. Yeah, I think you've got to get both, mate. Oh. Yeah. If the question has two answers, it's got to be... We'll do it. We'll stick that. We'll try and keep it fair, boys. Um, okay, so the question was, who were the only two non-English players to be in the top ten got Premier League goal scorers? Who have you got? I honestly couldn't think. I put Aguero and Dwight York. So can oh. I have that question one more time? Just because I didn't really catch it the first time around. Be... So it was, who are the only two non-English players to reach the top 10 Premier League got all-time goal scorers list? So Adam, Ooh, you got so one. Yeah, it is Aguero and it's... Um... Yeah. I couldn't think of the other one for the life. Oh, um, so, so, no. Okay, on, no. Boys. It is Henri. Ah, fuck. Yeah, no, I didn't think he scored that many goals. That's more difficult than the attendance one, so... Yeah, fuck it. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, that was... Right. Same, same, know, amount was of same amount of difficulty, I meant. Like, See, the only reason game. why I would have known that one was because while the season was starting, Aguero overtook Henri, and uh, it was one of the weirdest stats. It was like he is the... the, the, the for, uh, God, the Premier League's top fox I can't speak, boys. I've lost it. My camera's falling. Um, he overtook him, basically, and it was a bit of a weird stat. Okay, moving on, Adam. Uh, who scored the infamous beach ball goal against Liverpool's Pepe Reina in 2009? Josh? I think it was Darren Bent. 
Okay, what, what what did you want to say, Josh, before I answer? It was, it was, it was Darren Ben. It was Darren Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, um, final question for you, Adam. Which Chelsea player was the victim of Luis Suarez's infamous bite in 2013? Honestly, couldn't think. So, I thought Diego Costa. Ivanovic, wasn't it? Ivanovic. There's yeah, been a lot of Chelsea know. questions for you boys, isn't there? I know, yeah. It's, 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 it's like, you know, the host is a Chelsea fan or something. <laughs> for you guys I could have given myself them two and got two points I reckon I got no points here boys <laughs> well, I got one point so so you got one did you got one as well Josh yeah so you could take the lead there Jay with a, a above mediocre performance but I I, I reckon I've tanked it yeah so my first question was which was the only Premier League team to have a 4-0 lead at half time and not win the game Um, and the, I put Manchester United didn't know, I but it was. I put Arsenal. Arsenal. I it was Tottenham. Oh, no, it was it's Arsenal. The famous, it's the famous Newcastle game, isn't it, where Chet Tiote bangs one in in the last minute to make it four four. Yep, you're right. I mean, that wasn't on the card, but <laughs> Arsenal versus Newcastle four <laughs> four was on the card. Um, okay, so the second question was the one that got you annoyed, Josh. That I didn't know. Um, idea conned which manager into signing him into. In 19, 1996, after claiming to be related to the Ballon d'Or winner, George Ware, what would you say, Josh? Graham Souness. So I, I didn't put anything for that. I just didn't know. And it was Graham Souness. You're right, Josh. I would give you a bonus point, but I don't want to. <laughs> okay, um, so the final question in this round for me was, how many Premier League clubs are in based in Greater London? Now, I kind of got tricked out. Did it mean, I don't know if it meant Greater London and not Main London, or like all of London, but I've put seven. And the answer was six. Fuck, right? It's Arsenal, Tottenham, West Ham, Chelsea, Fulham and Crystal Palace, right? I put seven, because ain't Watford in Greater London, but it's not, is it? It's not, no, Watford's in Watford, which is on the very outskirts of London. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, so I know that, but I didn't know if it was in, like, Greater London, you know, how there's Greater Manchester and Manchester. No, no, it's way out on the outside. We don't accept it's excuses. Awkward. So, I got no uh, points right. there, boys. That's a zero pointer for Jay. <laughs> Up the boys. Do you want us to right, just stop so recording with that bit, like, easy? Younger. Yeah, yeah, we'll stop yeah. there, boys. All right, part two, we're here. We're going to move on to the next round. As it stands, it's a crisp 1-1-0. Not very high-scoring game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> great start from the lads. Um, hopefully, if you are playing along, you're doing much better than us. Um, who wants to go first this time? Do you want to go first, Adam? We'll go you, me, and then Josh to switch it up a little bit, yeah? So this yeah. round is World Cup. Let's do it. And your first question is... Brilliant. Who won the FIFA vote for best goal at the 2018 World Cup? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Do you need to hear it again? No. Okay. Moving on. Which nation won all three of their group games without conceding a goal in the 2018 FIFA World Cup? Fucking some relevant ones for you here, Adam. Just give me a second on that one. No worries. <laughs> so which nation won all three of their group games without conceding a goal in the 2018 FIFA World Cup? I don't think I know that one, actually. Uh, you ready? I have a I have a guess on that one. Okay. Mm, I've, I've got um, yeah yeah okay. And your final question? No, I've got. Uh, I'm changing my answer. Good. <laughs> Where was the 2002 FIFA World Cup hosted? Ooh. So that's like 2002. Yeah, the 2002. So that is like one of the first World Cups in my memory. So the 2002 Cup. Where was it hosted? All right. I'm uh, moving on to me, boys, so I'll, I'll do mine and we'll end with you, Josh, yeah? Okay, my first question is, how many goals has Zidane Zidane scored in FIFA World Cup final matches? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting, boys. I feel like I should say something, but I've got to write my answer down, so I'm like, uh, no, okay. <laughs> moving on, my second question is, who loved David Seaman in the 2002 World Cup, FIFA World Cup? So, who loved David Seaman? It fucking broke his heart, didn't it? Uh, who was it? 
Yeah, Bro, I don't even know that's it. What? What? <laughs> so what was that? What was that there, Adam? Nothing. <laughs> oh, you mean who was seeming against, I hope. No. That- Okay, no, sorry. sorry. Is that what you said, Adam? Sorry, I thought. No, you were... yeah, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of the team. Oh, of to, uh, I know I'm the, answering the, a question. That's right. That's that's fair. So I thought you meant what team did David Seaman play for? And I was like, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. My final question is: What was the final score in the 1998 FIFA World Cup final between France and Brazil? Oh God. Um, you know what, right? I watched a recently. I watched a every World Cup final video, and I still can't remember. Um, the uh, Guardian just did a podcast on this match, and I still I don't remember. Oh, they did, didn't they? Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. Um, yeah, I, I'm just complete guess. Okay, so Josh, moving on to you. Final three questions of the round. This is fun, isn't it, boys? I'm having fun. Um, it is. I'm having lots of fun. Um, so Josh first question which celebrity put an uh, atrocious penalty wide in the 1994 FIFA World Cup opening ceremony was it it was, it was multi, multi, quick, multiple option yes. um, so you've got a one in three chance this Josh was it Tina Turner Diana Ross or Whitney Houston <laughs> I'll read it again for you which celebrity put an atrocious penalty wide in the 1994 FIFA World Cup opening ceremony was it Tina Turner Diana Ross or Whitney Houston? I think I know. <laughs> Fucking, if you know I it, fair play. I'll just complete guess. Okay, moving okay, on. Next question, uh, please. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <sighs> Which player scored the infamous Hand of God goal? You ain't getting that question again. <laughs> you ain't getting that one again. Ooh. You fucking bastard, man. <laughs> No. <laughs> the Guardian actually did a podcast on this recently. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who it is, man. Fucking all right, moving on. Who was the manager of England? Okay, who was the manager of the England's winning? Oh my god, boys, what, what's going on? Who was the manager of England for the FIFA World Cup winning team in 1966? So who was the manager? At... Oh god, that's embarrassing. That I don't know that. I would say yeah, but I don't think I could pull it. I think I know, but I, 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 I'm still going to think of who it was, to be honest. If that gives you any help. Probably doesn't, because I don't know much. No, I have no idea. Just get a name down, will you? <laughs> um, okay, Adam. Let's go through the answers, mate. Yeah. So, your first question was, who won the FIFA vote for best goal at the 2018 World Cup? So, who would you go for? I think I've picked the wrong World Cup. It's 2018, it was Russia. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely picked the wrong World Cup. Oh, I don't know, actually. Where have you gone? Yeah, I have. Who the hell Rodriguez? Yeah, you've yeah. gone for the wrong one. <laughs> Josh, do you know who it is? I know it is. Pavard. Yeah. Is it Pavard? I, I, I yeah. Pavard. It was a fucking peach of a goal, wasn't it? Shit. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, so your next question was, which nation won all three of their group games without conceding a goal in the 2018 FIFA World Cup? So the same tournament in Russia. I had two options. Did you get the wrong World Cup? <laughs> no, I, got, I think I got the right one. I put Spain. I No, because they drew 3-3 with Portugal. I wrote France. Uh, no, you're both incorrect. France lost. No, did France okay. draw or lose in the group game? I can't remember. It was Uruguay? No, the... Oh, oh, it was, wasn't right. it? Yeah, because it was. They, they, they. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have got. I wouldn't have got that bad. I think I've got all these wrong. Oh yeah. So what? So this last question, to be fair, a bit of a hard one. I, I don't think I could have remembered. Uh, where was the two thousand and two FIFA World Cup hosted? So I wrote an answer down. Okay. And then I scribbled it out. Good. And then. I put the same answer down. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, U- U- USA, I put. You've gone for who, sorry? The USA. It, any guesses, Josh? It was not the USA. I wrote, I wrote France. It was Japan and South Korea. Ah. Okay. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, so moving on to my questions. Uh, so my first question was, how many goals did Zidane Zidane score in FIFA World Cup matches? I put... Five, right? He scored. That's a lot. 
Oh, yeah, well, you know, he's, he scored three. So he scored. I thought it was a trick question. I, I would have put zero. Nah, I know he scored in. I'm no, that, I don't think there's any <laughs> trick questions in here, Adam. <laughs> that'd, be a bit, that'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Okay, so it says three. He scored two versus Brazil and one versus Italy in the famous headbutt in 2006 final. I, I, You know what? I thought, I don't know why. I think I thought he had a hat trick in one of them. So I kind of put a hat trick and maybe scored two in another, but I don't know. Um... So my next question was, who loved David Seaman in the 2002 FIFA World Cup? Uh, I completely blanked out. I had no clue. I just put Zidane because it was the freshest name in my mind. No, it was, it, was, it, was, it was definitely Brazil, wasn't it? It was either Ronaldinho or... I put Ronaldinho. Uh, Adam, anything? Not a clue. It was Ronaldinho. So, yeah. I am... Um, Fair play. He's one of my great, my favorite players ever. In. Oh yeah, same. He 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 was phenomenal. Like when growing up, like. And he's been released from he's been released from jail. Now. Hey, so. good lad. <laughs> he's under oh, he's under house arrest. But, that's yeah. fair. That's <laughs> fine. It's fine. So, um, uh. <laughs> moving on. Uh, what was the final score in the nineteen ninety eight FIFA World Cup between France and Brazil? So I put three 0 down, and it was three 0 to France. Fucking got a point on the board, boys. Get in. Yeah, it was. And because um, I remembered that specifically because you said the Guardian. Actually, you give it away, and and they they said it was a shit. They said it was a shit game. <laughs> um, and, but it was a, it was like a shit free now. So I remembered that quite specifically. So thanks, Josh. Give me a point there, kid. Uh, so finally, on to you, Josh. Uh, you, you, was your first question the uh, celebrity one? No, it was it was the manager one. No, it was the yes. celebrity one. No, it wasn't. Sorry, it wasn't. my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so <laughs> what celebrity scored an atrocious goal in the uh, nineteen ninety four opening ceremony? I think it was Diana Ross. So you want to? You got any reasoning for that or? I just remember it, but I don't remember Whit- uh, Whitney Houston. And I don't think so. And the other one was. Uh, it was Tina Turner. Tina Turner. It was one of those things where I'm, I'm just utterly convinced it wasn't the oh, other two. You know, well, so that's 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 my logic. Well, Josh, it was fucking Diana Ross, you bastard. <laughs> Do you have any clue there, Adam? No, the the, the, uh, the other two were on crack somewhere, weren't they? <laughs> oh yes, good. Allegedly. Allegedly, the back post does not endorse crack. Does not endorse accusing celebrities <laughs> of taking crack. The back post is not sponsored by crack. Uh, let us. Continue. Or is it? Um, Sponsored by Craig. <laughs> no. um, okay, your next question was uh, a piece of shit question. Which player scored the hand of God? Maradona. Maradona. Fuck you. Right, your final question was who was the manager of England's winning World Cup team? I just play, I, I, I know. I know. I'm way too. You, you, you think you have so many famous names, Clough, Robson, but they're all too late. So I wrote Steve. It was Sir Alf Ramsey. <laughs> To be honest, mate, I, w- I would have I I struggled there as well. All right, so what are the scores, boys? What you got, Adam? Imagine, sorry, just yeah. sorry, a quick side note before we do the, the scores. Imagine being the only manager to ever win a World Cup for England and no one fucking has any... It's death. That, is, oh, that is peak. Everyone uh, remember this name. Final scores. Sir Alf Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> flashing, flashing graphic there. Cheers, James. Cheers, mate. Uh, um... <laughs> The final, the, the scores at the end of round two are Adam with one, Jay with one, and me with three. Thank you, Maradona. Fucking Maradona, a waste, man. Piece of shit. Piss me off all the time. <laughs> all right, we'll take another break and we'll come back the next round, boys. These proper got us last time, didn't they? Oh mate, I'm gonna this. If, even though I'm done awful already, I, I'm gonna do worse here. <laughs> so we all ready to right, go? I'm both. You can't do Ooh. any worse than answering Germany as a city to lose the entire quiz in the dying seconds. Didn't lose it that actually. Very true. Didn't lose the didn't lose the quiz. <laughs> still still came second. It was, remember? It was not to finish last. <laughs> How did you still come second? 
Adam picked just yeah. the post by answering that it question. Was me, it was me and you, like, battle for bottom, weren't it, Jay? Yeah, but that, no, that weren't the last question. That was the second to last question. No, it was the last question. All right, we'll go back and watch it, because I remember I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I didn't come last. I remember that. With all right, it doesn't matter anyway, because Jay was a win. So. I don't deserve it, yeah. but... Thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry so, Merry Christmas. anyway, unfortunately, you still came third in any way. So, champion. Sure, um, if you don't know what we're on about, about we did another quiz you, where I embarrassed first, myself. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll go first. Um, Graham Sooners began his professional career at which club? <sighs> I'm going for a classic who everyone used to start their career with. <laughs> that one. I um. I've just completely guessed. Um, next question for me. In which year was the, the football... Sorry, so I'm going to start again. In which year was the Football League First Division founded? Interesting. That's tough, you know. That's really hard. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Which could be a complete guess there. So, and then... Like I haven't been guessing already. Um... <laughs> Final question. Match of the day made its debut in which year? Fuck me, balls. This, this is difficult, man. Okay, another complete guess. Uh, probably <laughs> zero points that round. Great, great, great. Cool. Does anyone know any of them, by the way? Not give away, like, uh, solidly I've, new. I've, I've, done get, I've, I've done relatively educated guesses, but no. Yeah, mine were like. Oh, not really educated guesses. Okay, so who would be next for you, Josh, right? Yeah, Josh. So, Josh, your first question is, who won the fourth title of his man managerial career by <coughs> guiding Arsenal to the league title in 1933? <laughs> what a horrible question. It's just nodding. So, to say it again, who won the fourth title of his managerial career by guiding Arsenal to the league title in 1933? <laughs> Great. Sorry, Josh. Um, well, I'm not sorry, really. Um, second question. What was Gerd Muller's record for most goals scored in a calendar year before it was broken by Lionel Messi in 2012? So calendar year, you know what that means. Do you want me to read the question again? Question, uh, I was going to explain it, but you know what it means. No, no, I've got it. I've got it. Um, yeah. I, you know, I'm being a good host here, boys. This is, this is like my uh, first time ho hosting a quiz, so. Am I doing good? Who knows? Are you doing alright? Thanks, boys. Okay, next, please. No, no, I'm going to keep talking, Josh, and drag it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, which team won La Liga in the inaugural in the its inaugural season in 1929? Liga. No, La Liga. Sorry. Oh, La Liga. So, which team won the first ever La Liga? Okay, Adam, moving on to you. Yeah. So your first question is, in 1974, who became the first player to win three Ballon d'Or trophies? So in 1974, who became the first player to win three Ballon d'Or trophies? You ready? Which Portuguese legend made his Benfica debut in 1961? Need me to say that again or are you good? Good. Yeah, do you think having that on again will help you, Adam? I, <laughs> I reckon we're going to get a zero across the board here, boys. For that post. <laughs> your your knowledge of football. Um, what you know, I really hope, what I really hope is like Elliot watched along and... and, and done it alongside it and you need to send this to him <laughs> when it's out and uh, he's probably done better than all of us <laughs> um, before the rule changed in 1981 to three points for a win how many points were you awarded for a win in the football league the first division fuck off fuck off <laughs> answers please okay so we'll go straight to my my first question was Graham Sooners began his professional career at which club? Uh, cur curious to what you put, Josh. Well, I originally wrote Nottingham Forest because everyone seems to start at Nottingham <laughs> Forest. But I forgot that he was Scottish, so I put Livingston. Nice. Did you put anything, Adam, or did you take a guess? I 
I put, well, I guessed at heart. So I put Ipswich, complete guess, but it was none of those teams, <laughs> boys. Did you Scottish? Uh, no, I just thought maybe he started that. You never know, you never know. Um, Tottenham Hotspur, that's what it was. Josh? Oh, fucking hell. How did I you know, know that? that? There's, there's no, there's genuine. Oh, oh well, he knew that one, oh. but he just got it wrong just to take the piss. <laughs> no, I didn't know that one. Well, I, I did. That's one of those ones that as soon as you get told, all of the images <laughs> just come flooded. Flashback. So. Oh, there's me smug being like, did you forget it was Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, my second question was in which year was the Football League First Division founded? I, you know, it's a complete guess. I put 1910. Uh, I just completely. I put 12. I put. I completely guessed. Adam, did you put, get a year down, or can you guess I'd, now? I I had no idea. I didn't even bother. Well, it's earlier than we thought. It's eighteen eighty eight, which is mad, mm. really. Because I the only reason why I guessed nineteen ten was because um, I just didn't think all the teams, all, a lot of teams, have been founded yet. I don't know. I don't. Know. Well, Tottenham's eighteen eighty two, so that makes sense. We're weird. Nineteen oh five, so. That's probably where I got my guess from. So my final question was: Match of the day, <laughs> match of the day made its debut in which year? Uh, complete guess again. I just put nineteen ninety. I went. Nah, to, it's way before then. I, 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 I did. I, I put sixty eight. Oh, Josh, you were fucking close, mate. It was nineteen sixty four. So, you know what? I, I had no clue. Was that one sort of colour came on? They used to only play one match. They used to play only one match, and it was like terrible. But it was it was early. That was interesting. Well, I didn't get any points, boys. <laughs> um, <laughs> fun. Um, so Josh, it was not you next, wasn't it? Yeah. And your first question was, who won the fourth title of his managerial career by guiding Arsenal to win the league in 1933? What did you put? Well, it's interesting this one because I was trying to obviously think of like Arsenal legends, people from Arsenal's history, and I actually think the correct answer might be someone that is also um, quite closely linked to Tottenham. However, I actually plumped for um, the oldest thing I could think of, and that's Gunasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I nearly spat that everywhere, Josh. No. <laughs> and it's correct. No. <laughs> is that your actual answer? Yeah. I did write good as yeah. I didn't have anything. Okay, uh, what was your other answer? I won't Got give you a point for it, but what was your other answer? No, no, I just, I just have, have a feeling that the whoever oh, okay. it was also did something at Tottenham, but oh. I can't think of a name. So the answer was Herbert Chapman? Yeah, he went to Tottenham. I'm sure he did. Or did he not? Someone went to Tottenham. Maybe edit that out. Maybe I'm wrong, but that is a thing somewhere in my mind. Yeah. It stayed in. Oh, well. uh, um, okay, so your second question was, what was Gerd Muller's record for most goals scored in a calling year before Messi broke it? What have you got? 54. Uh, it was 85. It's a lot. I think, I think Messi... Was Messi's Messi 91? 91, didn't he? Yeah, 91. I thought it was 90. That's just mad, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So... Final question for you, Josh. Which team won the La Liga in its first ever season? I originally wrote Sevilla, but then I just thought, fuck it, let's go obvious Real Madrid. Um, so I would have put Real Madrid as well, actually, because I just thought, you know, they've been, you know, they're the top dogs. Barcelona? Nah, makes I sense. I think that's kind of interesting. Okay, moving swiftly on to Adam. Um, how many points did you get, actually, Josh? Did you get any? New Big fat zero. Uh, here at the back post, we're not great with uh, throwback football. <laughs> well, Josh is usually all right, actually, but we've had some tough questions here. Uh, Adam, your first question was, in 1974, who became the first player to win three Ballon d'Or cro- trophies? Who you put? Uh, Try to stay relevant, I put Muller. It, you got any guesses, Josh? Uh, was it the Russian goal? Unless it was that Russian... No, it wouldn't be that Russian goal. What's his name, it, so, Josh? What's yeah. his fucking name? Well, that caught last time, Fucking didn't it? Hat, hat Boy. Hat Boy. Hat we boy. always forget his name. It's Yashin. I remembered it this time. Um, it was actually Cruyff. My camera just dropped. It was Cruyff. Johan Cruyff. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I know I didn't get that one, to be fair. Uh, yeah, to be fair, I would have... I would have... I don't, I don't know. I might have put Cruyff. Um, which Portuguese legend made his no. Benfica debut... In 
1961. Oh, I thought you said 71. So I said 61. I said, well, you've got an answer for 71. Fuck off. Well, that I put, doesn't I change put, I put, anything. Nah, I put Rivaldo, but I'm probably well off anyway. Um, it, are you any guesses, Josh? Um, so I'm I might butcher it's um I might butcher his name here. It's Eusebio, Eusebio. Yeah. I probably butchered his name. Sorry about Just, that, mate. As a as a fact check that sh to shame me, um, the reason Herbert Chapman's in my mind is nothing to do with Tottenham. It's the Tifo video where they were doing the WW formation. If you've seen that one, three 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 two 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 three three three, and that's how a few leagues were won. <laughs> Back then, uh, nothing to do with Tottenham. Fuck him. Fuck Herbert Chapman. <laughs> Gina Scum. Um, Fair enough. Lovely bit of information from Tottenham. Uh, yeah. That's what we, we're here for. Um, final question of the round. Uh, before the rule changed in 1981 to three points for a win, how many points were you awarded for a win? I put two. It was. What a fucking easy question. It was is. two. Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be two, weren't it? Was it 12? <laughs> <laughs> right, round three. Jamie, it's pretty much a perfect score. <laughs> to draw. No, no, well, only if I don't get another point. If we both fail and Jay gets a perfect score, he wins. It's the, the odds are so How many points? Oh, right, yeah, fair. I, I, have two, I thought I had one point, I have two points. Listen, I've been focusing on quiz, being a quiz master, come on. Yeah, no, General knowledge. So who's first? It's all down to this. Who's first down? Is it Josh? Uh, it's me first because I started first. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Josh, your first question. Would you, would Josh, would you not rather go last because you're in ahead, or do I just go with the flow? Adam makes a valid point. Adam, you can go first. I'll go second. Josh will finish. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine you get like three easy questions now. Though. Anyway, uh, Josh, uh, Adam, rather, your first question is: Which football player had his first for foray into management with Valencia? Fuck off. We've had this, haven't we? Oh, oh no. The question. No, 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 no. Never mind. So, which football player had his first foray into management with Valencia? He's just for Ray. It, 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 he, you know, who was his? He, he had his first experience being a manager at Valencia. Experience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a bit of an annoying Next. one. Uh, which Brazil player has won the most UEFA Champions League titles? So, which Brazilian player has won the most UEFA Champions League final titles? Mhm. Mm and your final question is: Philip Lahm retired from. From club football in which year? Ooh. So Lam retired from which? No, in what year? Sorry. International, national. Oh, just it, uh, club football. It says club football. So which club year football. did he retire yeah. from club football? Okay. Okay, moving on to me. Fun times, general knowledge. Which country's national team is also known as the Azuri? Tough one, that. Ooh. Okay, next question. There's always a bit of an awkward silence when I answer mine. Because <laughs> I'm like, I must answer. <laughs> um, oh, God, this is a long one. In the 2018 UEFA Champions League final between Liverpool and Real Madrid, Salah had to be substituted because of an injury caused by which opposing player? Whew. Oh, come on. Oi, boys, this, you know what? This is looking good. <laughs> this is looking good. Um, my final question. Please be a good one. According to the official FIFA handbook, how long can a goalkeeper hold onto the ball? So I'm not dead certain about that one, boys. I, I, I know that one. I'm not dead. I think I know it, but I don't know if it changed recently. I'm not dead certain, but we'll move on anyway. Right. Josh, <coughs> I hope you get the three hardest questions we've had all, all this podcast. <laughs> yeah, um, same. <coughs> excuse me. In Zidane Sedan was purchased by Italian giant Juventus in 1996 from which club? Bit of a tough one, that. So, what? who bought... Sedan from Juventus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, which player is also known as Chicharito? Oh no! 
<laughs> Fuck. Okay. And the final question is: Which country won the Baltic Cup in two thousand and sixteen? Fucking hell. All right, these are more difficult ones for me. Yeah, you got a, you got a bit more difficult ones here. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna have to push you for an answer, Josh. Push me for fucking shit. I'm lost. <laughs> you get onto your answer. <laughs> Dickhead. Yeah, um, um, okay, so we're moving on to the answers now. This is the the final round, big round. I hope everyone stayed for the for the finale. Uh, so, Adam, which football player had his first management in Valencia? For Ray. Gary Neville. Gary Neville. <laughs> General knowledge has been a bit kinder to us, I think. Uh, which Brazilian player has won the most UEFA Champions League title, titles? Marcelo. It was Marcelo. Boom, 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 boom. Adam's doing well. Adam is doing well. Final question for a final point. Adam, Philip Lahm retired from club football in which year? I put 2016. Any guesses there, Josh? 2017. Yes! Oh, Adam. That is tough. That is really tough, mate. <laughs> okay, so moving on to me. Which country's nationality team is named the Azuris? I said Italy. It is Italy. Uh, the next one was the most Halid Salah question. I put Ramos. It is Sergio Ramos. And then the final question, which is an interesting one, I think. Sorry, I'm just ripping paper. Uh, according to the uh, the official FIFA handbook, how long can a goalkeeper hold on to the ball? Fuck. So I put nine seconds, right? Uh, it's six seconds, in it? All right, so I'll tell you why I put six seconds, and I'll answer you in a second. I put nine, sorry. Because on FIFA, you hold on to the ball for a little bit, and then the six seconds comes up. So I thought, it's got to be more than six seconds, because that six seconds comes up. So I put nine. It's fucking six, boys. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Good, good, good. Oh. I put eight, so fair. Yeah, no. So that puts Jay on three. I'm back to three. That was a solid round for me at the end there. Um, I, I'm... Right. Still should be embarrassed. Um, okay, so Josh, your first question was: Zidane Zidane was purchased by Italian giants Juventus in 1996 from which club? I can't remember when he did when, but apart from this, I think he ended his career in Juventus. So, just because I, it's one of those, I, I did, I, I originally wrote Leon. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say Real Madrid. It was neither of those teams. Any guesses, Adam? Ah. Um. Nah. Not it was Bordeaux. Uh, okay. Okay. So, which player is also known as Chicharito? Javier Hernandez. Yes, it was. Yeah, we all got that one. And okay, so the final question, probably a re- quite a hard question. Uh, which country won the Baltic Cup in 2016? I also can't even think where the Baltics are. The Baltics are like way that way, aren't they? For Jamaica. No, the Baltics is, is, is like Eastern European. It's Croatia and stuff, isn't it? Is it e- it's Croatia, it's oh, is Bosnia. It, is, it, is it higher? It, is it all that? Okay. Fuck. Serbia, Slovakia. Serbia, Slovakia, right. Uh, my headphones are about to die. And me and Adam are on four points each with you in three. So, Jay, you need to go and find us a tiebreaker. Oh, no. Um, the, the, the the question was Latvia. What did you, did you not put anything down? I wrote fucking nothing. I wrote, I wrote, I crossed out AS, then I wrote out NO, and then I've, I've written Siri, and then I've crossed it out. So, right. Okay. No. Random question. Random Boys, question, Jay. What an exciting end to, a, to the quiz. Jay, we don't want you in. We don't want you here. We want just me and Adam staring like that. Side profile me. I'm staring at Adam. <laughs> yeah. Adam, look to your. No, Jay can just flip it. It doesn't matter. Which which I'm way? Which way shall I look? Just look to the left. I'm looking towards my left, so you look towards your right. Okay, boys. What I'm do we want it. this from? Should we just take a general knowledge one? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, boys. Sudden death. 
Give oh, it. boys, boys, boys. And we want to say it at the same time, yeah, so give us the question, then three, two, one, say it at the same time. That won't work, write it down. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay I've got... Stop looking at you now, Josh. I'm just... Josh, I'm, Josh, I'm, Josh, I'm looking at you. I've picked a couple out, boys, just in case no one gets it. Um, so, which for the sudden death? I'm going to write it down and point, point it to the camera when I'm done, yeah. Which national football team won a competitive match for the first time in 13 years in 2017? I'll say it again. Which national football team won a competitive match for the first time in 13 years in 2017? I think this is wrong. I don't know what um, if you both get it wrong, we've got a backup question. Okay, uh, so give me the answers, boys. You both wrote it down. Show it to the cameras. I can't read. I'll read out. Yeah, because you can't see it. Oh, oh. I have. I, I put San Marino. I don't think San Marino won. They've not won one yet, Josh. I put Latvia because I knew it wasn't San Marino. It, it was Andorra. Andorra. Okay. All right, so All right, moving on, boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hopefully, you know, we, we don't run out of questions here. Uh, to, to win it, boys, to win it, which was the only team not to score at the 2016 UEFA, uh, UEFA Euros? The only team not to score at the 2016 Euros. What we got? Think back to that tournament, boys. It was a tough one. I'll add some tense music in. I don't, think Adam's gonna, I don't think Adam's going to get this, and I don't think I'm going to get this. Don't worry, we've got another um, backup one. Um, Wait, like, I'm not right down yet, I'm not right down yet, hang on. The tense music still playing. Shit, I can't think. Just could, uh, got to push you both for an answer. I'm think first. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I don't think it's right, but... I don't think I am right. It's the first one that comes to my head. Go on. Right, okay. I, put I put Sweden. Ready? Josh, what did you put? Bosnia has to be Oh my god, you're both wrong. It's the Ukraine. Let's move on quickly. I was right with the colours. Sweden. Okay, boys. Right. In which country would Come you on. find the home of FC Santa Claus? Yeah. Josh knows. <laughs> oh, no. Josh knows. This is me. No. I think I know. I think I know. Okay. He thinks he knows. Adam, if you can get it right, we'll push it further ahead even more. This is getting tense. It's getting long. What have you got, Adam? Greenland. Josh. Finland. Josh wins again. <laughs> it was Finland. It was close. It was not there. It wasn't green. <laughs> uh, it was Finn. It was Finn. Just like this quiz. <laughs> Josh wins another one. I think we could have all guessed that happened. Me and Adam are the best of which we here, but Josh is. I got pushed. I got pushed. It was tough. I mean, uh, you know what we still know though? I'm all for football trivia. I got pushed for that. Jay lost again. Can we get can we just add the can we can we just add the little footage of you either winning or losing or three seconds, whatever? 100% did lose the last one. Um, so, I'm sure you did because it was between you and Adam. Yes, and that was, but not lose. trust me, didn't lose. And you we'll watch it right it. after this. It'll be in the podcast now. We've got to end the podcast, boys. It's way too long as it is. Everyone, thanks yeah, for watching. Yeah. Tell your dads.